Hey, thanks, Richard, and uh, great to be here. My name is Chris Bent, and I love events. I love networking events. I love weddings. I love conferences. I love concerts, confirmations. It doesn't matter what the event is. I love going there because I love connecting to new people and I like experiencing new things. But here I am at my second IMAX ever and I'm trying to remember to make eye contact with the webcam in my bedroom. This is weird. This is not the normal kind of IMAX that I was used to last time in Vegas. And I will talk about icebreakers for your virtual events, but I wanted to start off by talking about by talking about innovation because it is happening to our industry right now. Now, there's a lot of things that are different about the industry obviously and we can talk about that, but one thing that I wanted to start with is the things that are the same and what is the same is that need for engagement at your in-person event engagement was key and at virtual events it's even more important otherwise this could have just been a pre-recorded session that you watch on your own on youtube but that's not what live events are about and so this is about how to drive more engagement during your virtual event. And the first thing that you need to do to create that is to create psychological safety. Because even though we are in our little boxes in our living room uh, or our bedroom, and we may or may not be wearing pants, it is still important to feel safe and to feel like you can contribute and you can engage. And so the three ways that we can do that are by establishing inclusion and letting everyone participate, by giving opportunities for engagement, and by being slightly vulnerable. Because this is new for all of us. We are all kind of making this up as we go along. And having that vulnerability gives us space to take risks and do new things because the industry is changing. And I think it's an amazing time to collaborate and to get more creative with each other. So as an agenda, I wanted to give a quick three minute intro, which we just got done with. And next, let's hop into our first ice breaking activity. Keep this moving forward. So to do this, all you need to do is take out your phone. We'll be using the Pickles app. So to do this, all you need to do is take your camera out and scan the QR code to get started. And the first question that I have for all of you today is what drink would help you out right now? So for me, I'm drinking some tea. I like to uh, start off with tea before I get into the coffee. It's a Monday morning here in Montreal. And so I just wanted to know, we're all coming in from different places. And so let's uh, all share what we need right now. <clears throat> and we'll take a minute to all draw this. Looks like we've got some wine coming in, a lot of gin and tonics fans, Diet Coke. Teas, all right. Nine. Oh, wine. I thought I thought that was a, a someone from Germany saying they don't need anything. Ooh, we got some some beers coming in here. Nice. And so this is the pickles platform that uh, we're all using right now to just express ourselves in real time. So it looks like a lot of beer. I, I would admit Monday morning is a little bit early for beer, but Porto, maybe someone's coming in from Barcelona. Uh, yeah, lo lots of wine, vodka, whiskey, mimosa. I like that. That that's that's more along where we're at right now. Nice. That's a that's a good looking tea right there. 
Awesome. So let's go to the next activity. And uh, you can to participate in that one. So we just got over 200 drawings with that. Amazing. So this one, to participate, all you have to do is hit I'm done, draw again, and you will be able to start drawing. And so the question here, looks like someone is still drawing on the last one, is how has the coronavirus affected you? Uh, obviously, it's affected all of us. So yeah, feel free to respond. And we'll take another minute for this one. We got isolation, pay cuts, no money. It looks like everyone is using the blue color as well. You can also feel free to use all of the different colors and the brush size you can change uh, to whatever you want. So yeah, have a little fun, draw. We're gonna do this for another 30 seconds to draw how the coronavirus has affected you. That's sad, but yeah, this is a lot of a lot of heartbreaking or a lot of strengthening of relationships I found as well. You miss houses, stressed, friends, lost business, less work, but still positive. I like that. Someone is uh someone is staying staying happy. Wow. There there's a uh, a lot of drawings coming in and in the light of being vulnerable as I mentioned important to create psychological safety. Uh this was also me being vulnerable using this platform because I have a $49 a month Wi-Fi internet subscription. And this is more people than have ever used the Pickles platform before. So I am being a little bit vulnerable just using this to potentially see that it might not work in front of all of you. But uh, with the loading times, it seems to be working all right. So this, uh, this is a good sign, I would say. But just with the virtual meetings, not everything is going to run perfectly smoothly. But it's a great opportunity of trying new things out as well. So I'm going to keep this moving. You guys can feel free to keep drawing. We got over 400 drawings right there. So I'm going to be really excited to go through all of them uh, after this presentation. But let's move on to the last question. And to answer this one, all you have to do again is hit I'm done, draw again. And the question here is, what has the coronavirus made you more grateful for? So um, it looks like we have a little, I have my wonderful assistant promoting different pictures that she sees showing up here. So the question here is, what has the coronavirus made you more grateful for? For me, it has made me grateful for events, A, meeting people, going out into the world, but also connecting with family and friends. I have talked to friends who I haven't talked to in a very long time just because we both have more time to interact with each other. <clears throat> so, wow, these are all uh, coming in like crazy and I can hear my computer starting to turn into an F-16 jet. So. That means that it's uh, it's working hard to try to show all of your drawings here. But these are these are all great. And what we'll do with these after is to put it into one massive mosaic. Because one of the goals of Pickles, what you're using right here, is to just express yourself creatively and to share your feelings and ideas. So that every little drawing represents someone. But then when you look at the bigger picture, it represents a general feel for the group or the organization that is representing themselves. And so I wanna keep things moving because I think I'm running out of time. You guys can feel free to keep drawing. How has the coronavirus and what has it made you feel more grateful for? I'm looking right now and we already have over 300 drawings here. And so this is blowing my mind just at the amount of content that we were already able to generate in this short period of time. So 
where where more grateful looks like for love, family, peace, uh, food, outdoor spaces. That's a huge one. Let's see, eating out, training, the planet. Yeah, I'm definitely feel bad about what I have been contributing to uh, hurting the earth. And uh, yeah, it's it's certainly recovering right now, like we all are. Being able to go out, nature, life, home, national health services, thank you. Grocery store workers, thank you also. I did not know how essential that was, but yeah, heart goes out to all of you. Music, I love it. There's there's so many of these. Feel, and feel free to keep drawing. These are incredible. I was going to go into my last slides. Um, so what can I do with these drawings after? And it looks like uh, some of these drawings actually are now imprinted on my computer. I don't know how that happens, or I don't know how, where those little hearts came from in the top left corner, but we're figuring this out as we go. Technical difficulties are almost guaranteed with virtual conferences. So these are some of the visuals that you can create with after uh, you have all of these drawings. For instance, are you feel like you're living up to your creative potential? or if you don't feel like you are, what is holding you back? And um, Pickles is really a way that we can just engage and hopefully feel more human and just express ourselves in a more kind of feeling and sentimental way because that's one thing that I find we are lacking is that real human connection. So the hope of Pickles is to just engage people, reawaken that inner childhood artist in everyone and use it to help you feel a bit less disconnected, even though we are all physically distanced from each other. So with that, Richard, I was going to stop sharing my screen and uh, can we open it up for questions? I think we have six minutes, so I got a lot more slides I could go into, but uh, at that, I feel like yeah. Yeah, we we've got a, cu a couple of questions. So yeah, please do ask any questions if you have uh, more to, more to come in. Um, so the first one is, um, does the app sort these automatically? So you know you've, you've placed that into the diagram at the end. Is that automatic or is it? Yeah, um... really great question. And doing it automatically is definitely part of our roadmap. But right now we're doing things manually until it gets painful. And so uh, I am actually going through sorting them, but. In the future, we will be hopefully using artificial intelligence to better sort them and help to learn really what a drawing means and the sentiment behind it. Okay, and then I guess a couple of good couple in for, for you, which may be good to hear, is that how much does it cost? Uh <laughs> yeah, yeah. So uh, that is also pretty variable. I know I hate that uh, explanation, but we have just rolled out kind of an annual or a monthly subscription that you can get for $49 with up to 100 people. So you just use that as much as you want. And then if you have any other sort of uh, larger groups or different services that you want it on, we can create content through this. Um, that's something that, yeah, we would just have a okay. conversation and... Um, so is the app, um, what, another question, is the app, um, can, it, can it be customized? Yes, yes, it can. Um, again, like, not everything can be customized, but uh, yeah, we, we are able to customize things. I've been told everything is possible in the world of software development. It's just a matter of time, money, and yeah, yeah that's pretty much it. Um, actually, I like this question. So how did you come up with the idea? Yeah, so the idea really started when I got my first corporate sales job, and it was absolutely soul-crushing. And I started wondering where creativity goes as you get older. Pretty much the only thing that I had done create creatively was to go to a paint and sip class and be told how to draw the Eiffel Tower while I got a buzz on. And I didn't think that was very sustainable. So I started researching how to just make creative expression more approachable, more accessible. And so Pickle started out as really a virtual coloring book. And I'll actually uh, share my screen again just to uh, show you 
what I am talking about. Um, so in, yeah, it started out as a way that everyone could just contribute one little piece to a larger picture. There's less pressure to be perfect and you just have less time spent to work on uh, something that results in a finished piece of work. Then we made more open-ended prompts. So you ask people to draw how they feel and we realized it can be used as a data visualization. In this case, I asked people if they're Democrats or Republicans. So it started out as kind of a collaborative coloring book as just a way that I could do something creative without being an artist per se. And then it's really expanded into this visual communication platform. Okay. Yeah. yeah no, amazing. It's great to see how, how it's developed. Um, lots, lots of questions coming in. Um, do you need to set up the questions in advance or can it be done on the spot? So I set up the questions in advance. Uh, that's how it's set up right now, but you can certainly use it more of an, as an ad hoc, um, yeah, as an ad hoc, just keep open-ended questions and then um, you can verbally say what uh, what we're drawing now and have people participate. Okay, cool. Um, and then do you offer support during meetings if someone's using using the app? Yeah, yeah, certainly. If that's, uh, if that's something that is necessary, I know it can be nerve wracking to do something for the first time. So yeah, especially uh, getting things going where we're, offering support for that. Yeah, we've got quite a lot of questions coming through about the costs and how it works. So I don't know if you want to share your details. I think it's probably best if people have got specific questions or, or things like that, that they just get in touch with you um, to find out more. Cause I'm guessing the, the cost is different depending on the offering. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, I would love to get in touch with anyone. Um, if you wanted to get in touch, you can go to pickles.com, uh, fill out a demo request or just send me an email directly or through social, really whatever works best for you. But um, yeah, that's one of the hardest things about the events industry is figuring out what things cost and pricing tiers and everything. So yeah, um, yeah. Th that's why we, yeah. Cool. And then problems. just one final question, um, other than your app, which is, which is great, are there any other apps out there that you like um, for virtual events? Yeah, so if it's for virtual events, I mean, there's a lot of different apps out there um, for audience engagement. I don't know if that's specifically the question, but um, I would be happy to share actually resources on event platforms, um, ticketing systems, like all of that. But uh, in terms of audience interaction platforms, some that I like are Slido, Glisser. Um, those are some of the big ones. And uh, yeah, but feel free to send me an email and I can, share all of the resources and the rest of the research that I have found. Perfect. Well, thanks so much, Chris. I'm sure everyone will agree with me. It's been a great interactive session and a lot of fun. I know we've all in enjoyed the tool and I'll be telling everyone about it. Awesome. Thanks Perfect. everyone. Thanks everyone. Cheers. Bye-bye.